Now, as the FBI searches for a Lakeland man like this and many others who they believe were involved in that January 6th insurrection, we're learning more about how so-called citizen sleuths are helping find them. Eight on your side, senior investigator Walt Buteau joins us to explain. Stacy, these keyboard detectives have helped identify thousands of suspects. And in a case like this one, while the feds search, others may be watching the suspects every electronic move. The FBI alleges this video shows Lakeland's Jonathan Pollock assaulting an officer by tackling her and later taking a riot shield and swinging it at police. After this FBI raided a Lakeland property following the arrest of Pollock's sister and cousin, neighbors and family expressed shock. It's been terrible. I, I'm just right now, it's so shaky. I can't hardly talk. They're religious and church going folks and they're just good, quiet people. Pollock now front page news on the Sedition Hunters website that features pictures of more than 2,300 suspects who were allegedly inside the Capitol during the assault. <laughs> These organizations are powered by volunteers who study the faces in the videos and then scour the internet to name them and find connections to January 6th. Largo's Robert Palmer, who will soon begin serving a 63-month sentence for throwing a fire extinguisher, a wooden plank, and a spear-like pole at police, was nabbed with the help of a citizen sleuth. She actually reached out to me. A colleague of the Huffington Post's Ryan Riley, who's writing a book on the FBI manhunt, talked over the phone with Palmer. Twelve days later, he turned himself in to the FBI. FBI Public Affairs Officer Samantha Shiro tells me, as we have seen with dozens of cases so far, the tips matter. The public has provided tremendous assistance to this investigation. We're told many of these private sector detectives are focused on the most violent allegations from January 6th, like the ones aimed at Palmer and Pollock. Riley tells me he won't be surprised to see impatience from citizen sleuths about open cases. If there's a case that's really rock solid based on public facing evidence alone, I think that we could see some pressure from sleuths to basically bring these cases forward. Pollock is one of about 350 suspects the FBI is now looking for, with more than 250 of them accused of assaulting law enforcement. Keith?